Hello everyone, hope you're doing all right. Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about a breaker block, a very strong pattern that I like to use a lot. So let's get right into it. Oh, wait, sorry to interrupt. If you're looking for a trusted crypto exchange that I'm also trading on, I highly recommend you checking out this link in the description. You can sign up here and trade with me. This helps out the channel a lot and allows me to keep doing this for free. Thank you. Essentially, what a breaker block is, is a pattern that traps traders on one side and then gives them an opportunity to release them and then continue the newly established trend. For a bearish breaker block, this would look something like this swing high created here we retrace we touch a premium array we break down lower we come back into where long traders are trapped and we continue lower long traders are trapped here they get a chance to release themselves and then we continue lower so that's the context behind it then then for it to be a valid breaker we need to take a swing high here and a swing low here and then trade back into in this case for a bearish breaker into the last down candle before the up move so for a discount array it would look something like this trade lower we make a swing low retrace we trap short traders trade above the swing high trade into the last up candle that was created here before the down move then the short traders get a chance to release themselves then we trade higher now let's get some real chart examples here we have our first example on the four hour time frame just to clarify this is a fractal pattern so it happens on every time frame it doesn't need to be specifically on the four hour it can also happen on the one minute or even on the monthly every time frame this is our fair value gap below the fair value gap are some equal lows so this is our premium array. Before we trade into the premium array, we create a swing high. We trap long traders. Then we displace with a fair value gap back below the swing low. This is a breaker pattern. Then this would be our point of reference. In this case, the body of the candle and not the wick. If the wick is overlapping with a fair value gap, then we would have taken the wick. And another little tip is we don't want to see mean threshold which is 50 percent of the body of the candle get disrespected disrespected meaning if the body closes above 50 percent of this candle then it will be seen as disrespected and the probability of it holding would decrease significantly so ideally we would want to see something like this an immediate reaction and continue lower this is a bearish breaker so what classifies the breaker the premium array swing high created before we touch the premium array then we trade into the premium array we displace and the fair value gap is an indication of a displacement below a swing low then we trade back into the last down candle before the up move into the premium array and mean threshold is respected and we see an immediate rejection this is a bearish breaker block so here we are on the one hour time frame like i said it's all fractal so this is a one hour example of a bullish breaker block here we have our discount array which is a balanced price range which is two overlapping fair value gaps Here we trade back into it. Our last swing low is this one. We entice short sellers. Shorts are trapped here when we trade above the swing high. We trade above the swing high with a value gap. So this indicates that there's displacement. Once we trade above the swing high, we trade back. There's no overlapping fair value gap. So we take the body of the up closed candle before the breakdown. This would be our breaker block. Now for your exact breaker block and your mean threshold, it will be both the up closed candles because if there's consecutive up closed candle for a bullish breaker block, then all the consecutive up closed candles is one breaker block. Mean thresholds get tapped, gets rejected immediately. By the way, this is also as ICT calls it a unicorn setup because there's a fair value gap overlapping with a breaker block and that's the strongest algorithmic pattern that exists. So what classifies this as a breaker? We have our discount array, we break a swing low, we trap short traders, we trade above the recent swing high. Short traders have a chance to get released here. Then depending on if the wick of the breaker is overlapping with a fair value gap, we take the wick or the body of the candle. If there's multiple consecutive up close candle in a bullish breaker block or multiple consecutive 
down close candle in the bearish breaker block then we take the consecutive candles for our mean threshold and for the complete breaker and we want to see a rejection which we get here i hope you learned something i hope this was insightful and i hope i see you at the next video which will be about market maker models so be there thank you